Hey, good evening everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the Tuesday Scrape, candlelight edition. Yeah, that's right, I'm doing a shave uh, in candlelight. Thanks to uh, Mati Lindholm who tagged me in the candlelight shave video. Um, I can honestly say this is something I never thought I'd be doing. I hope this is enough light. I've got four candles really cheap, not something I typically keep in the house. So I had to run out to the, uh, the dollar store. <laughs> that's right down the road, um, to buy some. And uh, I was gonna wait till Sunday, but I figured I needed a shave today. So it's nighttime. So it's better than trying to wake up really early and get it done before the sun comes up. So Tuesday scrape, what are we gonna use? I don't even know if you can see any of this. So it's probably kind of a waste of time. We'll be using the uh, PAA DOC uh, DE razor. Yeah, I'm kind of, wimping out and using a DE razor uh, because one, I need a good quick shave because I'm ready to go to bed, got to get up in the morning and I don't want to have my face all cut up shaving in candlelight because we're doing testing tomorrow so I've got to wear the mask. Um, I've got a brand new, uh, can you see it, Derby or Darby Extra in there for the soap as always. So it's all gone, the Little Tim Cedar Spice. Uh, for the brush, I've taken the liberty and whipped up a pretty nice lather in the PAA Scuttle with the uh, unnamed generic bore brush. I honestly don't even remember where that thing came from. And then for the post, real simple, just the Gillette um, aftershave. And I'm doing something I hardly ever do, because you guys know I hate it and I think it's gross. I filled the sink with water to rinse my blade because I didn't you guys know I'm a messy shaver that's also why I used the bowl and bowl lather because I don't want to get water and soap everywhere and uh, put out my candles so here we go let's get lathering hope everybody's doing all right I'm doing pretty good um, back to work today uh, it was a pretty decent day um, got to hand over the reins of the strike team to the boss lady. She's back from vacation. It's always a pleasure to see her, but no, so much more today so that she could take all that stuff back. No, actually, it wasn't bad. Um, the team that I had been working with did a really good job of helping me sort all that stuff out as I learned how to do it. And just as I was getting the hang of it. Um, but that's all right. It's good to have her back see her smiling face in the office, um, even through the masks, because we gotta wear those masks anytime we're not in our office by ourselves. There's more than one person in an area where you're not in your private work area, you have to wear the mask, so. Anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, things are still going crazy in the long-term care facilities, so we are, uh, just getting phone calls every day for investigations and testing events, and we're back at it tomorrow. So, be in a bunny suit. Hopefully, it's not a big event tomorrow, so I won't be in the bunny suit too terribly long. Hopefully, maybe an hour at the most. This is just weird because I can't. I don't know how to attack this. I don't have enough light. So, here we go. And I can't look in the mirror because I've got the candle situated so that they give me the most light in the camera. So I have to use the camera screen to shave in, which is also something that's very different for me because usually I look over into the mirror, but not today because it is too dark in here. Yeah, so Mati tagged me in this challenge over the weekend. And as soon as he did, I hopped on his video to see what it was all about. He did a great job with his straight razor, of course, shaving by candlelight. So I actually that day ran out and bought two candles, came in and tested it to see what it was going to be like, if it was going to be enough light for me. And it wasn't. So on the way home from work today, I stopped back at the same dollar store and picked up a couple more candles just so I could have 
enough light to see. And then with that big window in the background, it was like I had to figure out last night like what time I could start shaving. And it's not until after nine o'clock, which is for me, it's late because I'm usually in bed by about 9.15 or 9.30, winding down from the day, getting ready to go to sleep. Because I try to wake up around 4.30 to work out and stuff. So I'm usually in bed pretty early. Now my back has been acting up, the weepers. So uh, no working out, but I'm still used to being in bed by now. It's about 9.30 here. So I'm doing this all for you guys, just throwing off my entire schedule because I love my YouTube friends and I wanted to do a good job in this challenge for Mr. Mati Lindholm. And uh, it's worth it. <laughs> just messing around, you guys know it. You guys are awesome though. I appreciate all the support like always. And uh, this shave is going actually going pretty good. A couple little weepers. And I don't know if that's the lack of light, the DOC, which usually doesn't give me too much problem, or the derby blade. A lot of different variables um, today. <laughs> so anyway. That's really all that's been going on since I saw you guys on Sunday. Most of you by now have seen my scorpion chili hot sauce review. It seemed to be relatively well received from the shave community, so those things may continue. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping some people in the chili head community would pick it up and give it, give it a little bit of love and, you know, maybe I could make some inroads in there and get some giveaway chilies or something to try. There are tons of heat challenges out there if you if you look for them, if that's something you're interested in. Some some of the fellas at work were talking about the one chip challenge, which is something I tried to do a while back. Last year there was a, a company who made supposedly the hottest tortilla chip in the world. And it was uh, doused with um, I believe at the time it was ghost pepper powder. Um, and it was such an internet um, sensation that it, was, it became impossible to find, like online. And I went to the local hot sauce shop. They said they had some, but by the time I got there, they were all sold out. So I never got a chance to do it. And apparently, I mean, it's, it's pretty rough. You search online, you'll see a ton of them. But you have to look for the old one because they have updated the, the recipe and they are now using Carolina Reaper powder, which is hotter than ghost chilies. But even on the ghost chili one, you know, there's tons of videos of people out there just dying eating that. I think there's a newscaster who tries it, like the entire morning news team or whatever. And one of the ladies just pukes on camera because <laughs> it's so hot. Um, so yeah. But they have updated it, and the last time I was at the chili shop, they had a couple of them. I just didn't buy any, because I had already spent quite a bit of money on groceries and uh, hot sauces trying to support the local business. And so, maybe next time I run over there, if they still have it, I'll do it and put it on video and see if I don't die. It, it looks pretty miserable. The new, the new Carolina Reaper version looks pretty rough. And I'm a chili head, and I've got a pretty decent tolerance, but I bought some Carolina Reaper beef jerky about a year ago, and that stuff was hard to eat. It was delicious, but it was not easy to eat. Um, Carolina Reaper is by far the spiciest thing I've ever had. I mean, it's until recently, I think, was the spiciest pepper in the world, so... And that'd be jerky. Like I said, it was it was hot as I'll get out. I bought that that day that I was looking for the one chip challenge because they couldn't find it, so I just settled for some Carolina Reaper jerky. It was, it was really good, but not easy to eat. But 
But the scorpion pepper stuff wasn't bad at all. I'll tell you this. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I made a pot of beans this weekend. I've been trying to make a pot of beans every week uh, just to get into a little family tradition kind of thing, bring back old memories, and I like beans. But I, uh, at the chili shop, I bought some powder, um, some just some seasoning powders. One was made from ghost peppers, one was made from Carolina Reapers, and one was made from seven pot uh, peppers, which is like a hybrid of uh, Trinidad scorpion chilies and something else. I can never remember what it is. Oh, it's like a pot. Um, I don't remember, seven pot or pot primo or something. Anyway, I added a couple of dashes of that to my pot of beans. And those suckers are hot. But anyway, uh, talking about chilies, another one of the things I really enjoy in life, and I didn't even talk about the shave. The shave is really good. Um, let me get rinsed off, try not to put out the candles. A little, little, little tough spot right there. Let's see. You can hear it. Other than that, that's a fantastic shave. You guys probably can't see it. I'm tempted to do a head shave. But once again, I don't want to cut my head up and then have to go into testing tomorrow. 11 minutes? Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Why not? So at the end of the video, I'll turn on the light and we'll see how we did. How about that? So, I guess, I, you know, I just realized when I did the uh, Mr. Fancy Pants Challenge last week, or on Sunday, I should say, I didn't tag anybody, but that's kind of an old challenge, so I'm pretty sure most people have done it. So I'm just doing an open tag on that one. Whoever has not done the Mr. Fancy Pants Challenge, if you, uh, if you would like to, I'd love to see your fanciest gear. Um... And then for the candlelight tag, I also don't know who has done this one or not because I haven't been watching a ton of shaving videos, like I said. I am going to um, tag um, Mr. Justin McIntyre, the Red Island Shaver, and... Mrs. Jill Snowden. Snowden? Snowden? She shaves with Jill. If you guys watch this and are up to the challenge, tag you are it. Um, and I know I'm a bad YouTuber. I should probably text or Facebook message before. And I'll do that after the shave while this is processing. So. Um, it's, bad. it's bad etiquette to... Uh, Tag folks and not ask them. So, my bad. If I edited stuff, I'd edit that out, but you know that I don't edit videos. So. Which I guess I should probably do. I should be a good YouTuber. I mean, I am monetized. I should probably put a little more work into these things. Maybe if I did, I'd be a big YouTube star and I could quit my job and I could just film content all day and make a ton of money just shaving and eating spicy foods and doing whatever. It still just kill. It doesn't kill me. It just amazes me that some people could make a very wealthy living off of YouTube. Um, you know, I'll never understand it. But hey, we give them our money. I mean, we give them our views, so that's essentially giving them money. And the stuff, and the biggest channels are some of the weirdest content, too. Like eating, you know, mukbangs and stuff like that. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting what people consume for entertainment. And if someone can figure out a way to make a living at it, they'll do it, I guess. I mean, why not? If I could get paid to eat fast food all day long, I'd do it.
No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, worked, I worked too hard to lose the way that I've lost, and I'm already struggling mentally that I've gained some of it back, which is not a big deal. But it is a little bit of a, a mind game, like, hey, you're going to gain more, you know. But it is what it is. All right, let's see. That actually went a bad pass. My head's pretty easy to shave, though, for the most part. The head blade makes it relatively safe. You can still cut yourself with it, but it's a lot less likely. And I do most of that by feel anyway. Um, so shaving that in the dark isn't too terrible. Watch, I say that, I'm probably just going to cut the heck out of myself right now. I think that's it. Feels pretty good to me. Let's get rinsed off. Drain the tank. Rinsed off. Well, I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna call that silky, silky smooth. Yeah, not bad at all. Changed my mind. I'm not gonna show you guys the aftermath. It's gonna be a little bit more. dramatic thank you guys and gals so much for spending a little bit of time with me hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it um, hope you have a great rest of the week no matter what you do go spend some time with your friends and family be safe be smart stay six feet apart wear your masks and uh, i'll see you next time god bless have a great night